Wednesday's episode of As Days of Our Lives was packed with drama. Dr. Mark Green's encounter with Leo Stark in a town square led to an unexpected favor request. Leo's interest peaked as Mark accidentally spilled water on himself during their interaction. Later, Leo sought therapy from Arlena Evans after realizing his mistake, delving into his insecurities. Meanwhile, E.J. DeMera faced backlash over a newspaper piece about Paulina Price. Chanel confronted E.J. about his attitude, revealing her plans to keep her baby. Johnny DeMera shared news of a job offer with Chanel, prompting a surprising response. Elsewhere, Paulina dealt with a nightmare and a recall petition, while Eric Brady made strides in his personal life, seeking divorce from Sloane Peterson. The episode concluded with Chad DeMera's shocking revelation about his late wife, Abigail, potentially being alive. Thursday's spoilers hinted at Ray Fernandez's quest for evidence to clear Gobby's name, Chad's interrogation of Clyde, and Johnny's job opportunity update to Chanel. The week ahead promised more twists, including Abigail's discovery and Sarah Horton facing obstacles. As the storyline unfolds, viewers can anticipate gripping moments and unexpected revelations in the lives of Salem's residents. Stay tuned for more updates on Ye Days of Our Lives. Welcome to a pastime shows where the drama unfolds and the stories captivate. Join us as we delve into the intriguing world of Ye Days of Our Lives, revealing the untold tales and hidden truths behind the headlines. Days of Our Lives Wednesday, June 12 Recap, Eric's Wedding Ring, Paulina's Awful News, Leo's Emergency On Wednesday, June 12, Days of Our Spoilers for June 12 show that Dr. Mark Green was in the town square asking Leo Stark for a favor while out on a run. Mark asked to have Leo's glass of water on the table since he had forgotten his own water bottle. Leo nodded, looking interested in naked Mark as he gulped down the water and spilled it on his chest. Leo asked Mark if he wanted to go out to dinner after he said that he wanted to put himself out there again following a split. Although taken aback, Mark acknowledged he wasn't gay and eventually moved on. Leo ended up in Marlena Evans's office for an emergency session later, looking astonished that he had made such a mistake. Leo professed to think he was amazing, but he also acknowledged his fears and implied that he wasn't always happy. Marlena agreed to continue helping Leo with therapy sessions after Leo requested her to be his therapist since he felt unlovable. Leo felt better after that and was now certain that they would make a fantastic combination. At one time, Johnny DeMera also dropped by Marlena's office and disclosed that he had received a job offer in Los Angeles. Marlena then encouraged Johnny to tell Chanel DeMera the truth about it as soon as possible. On Wednesday's episode of Days, E.J. DeMera boasted to Jude Brady, alias Jude DeMera, at the DeMera house about a bad piece about Paulina Price that appeared in The Spectator. Chanel called E.J. out after he was seen essentially applauding Paulina's failure. E.J. pretended that his anger sprang only from concern for Chanel and his unborn grandson who had been exposed to radiation. Chanel stated that the baby's test results were fine as of right now, but she had an appointment for a follow-up today. Chanel angrily said that she was keeping the child when E.J. brought up the fact that there were still options if things didn't work out at that appointment. Chanel later encountered Johnny at the hospital on Wednesday's episode of Days, when she voiced her brief complaints about EJ's actions. Chanel, on the other hand, pretended that it wasn't worth getting worked up about and advised Johnny to move on too. Johnny said he wanted to talk to Chanel about something, but Dr. Mark Green, who was covering for Kayla Johnson, arrived and cut them off. When Chanel inquired as to Dr. Green's relationship to Felicity Green, he replied that she was his sister and that she frequently discussed Chanel. Following Chanel's examination, Dr. Green said everything appeared to be in order. To be sure, they would have to wait for the results of the next set of tests, but Dr. Green looked positive about everything. Chanel and Johnny discovered that Dr. Green had the same name as, um, 
physician Dr. Mark Green after he gave them his card. Chanel encouraged Johnny to return to what he had meant to tell her earlier once they were alone once again. Chanel seemed surprised when Johnny inquired how she would feel about leaving Salem. On Wednesday's episode of Days, Paulina experienced a radiation-related nightmare at home. Paulina was questioned by Abe Carver about her nightmare in which she terrorized the village while unusually tall. Abe intended to take Paulina to see Marlena, but Paulina didn't need a psychiatrist to tell her that she felt bad for endangering others, including Chanel and her pregnant child. After a while, Abe received a disturbing call and informed Paulina that a petition to recall her from her position as mayor of Salem had been filed. Paulina wasn't shocked by the culprit after she and Abe conducted some investigation to determine who was at fault. Once he was back with EJ, he celebrated his petition's advancement after receiving positive news from Rita over the phone. Roman Brady then advised Eric Brady to return to his room above the pub for a time, away from the agony of his apartment, on Wednesday's episode of Days of Our Lives. Eric added that he received another concept from Roman and that he thought that was a fantastic strategy. When Eric arrived at the Demera estate, he was prepared to move on and requested EJ to assist him in divorcing Sloan Peterson. EJ offered to represent Eric and mentioned that there was a workaround for Sloan's absence. To initiate divorce procedures from Sloan, all Eric needed to do was publish a notice in The Spectator once a week for a few weeks. If he didn't hear back from her, he could proceed. Since the police had an APB out on Sloan, EJ didn't believe it would be a problem for Eric to demonstrate that he had made a fair effort to locate her. Eric removed his wedding ring when he later ran across Roman again at the bar. According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Eric will continue to attempt to put his broken life back together, therefore will be providing you with more forecasts about the difficulties he may face. Days of Our Lives June 13, Thursday Spoilers, Rafe looks for more Gabby proof as Chad asks Clyde for Abby's survival story. According to previews for Thursday, June 13, Days of Our Lives, Clyde Weston will return to the Salem Police Department after all of the drama in Montana. Rafe Hernandez will then get the opportunity to question Clyde regarding Gil Carter and attempt to obtain additional evidence that might help exonerate Gabby Hernandez D. Mara's identity. Rafe won't get much information from Clyde, of course, but Chad D. Mara will want to have his turn with Clyde next. Fans of Days of Our Lives may anticipate that Chad will get some alone time in the interrogation chamber with Clyde, where he will insist on knowing the complete Abigail DeMera story. Chad will press Clyde to explain how Abigail is still alive now that he is adamant on her survival. Days spoilers unfortunately indicate that Chad won't have much luck with Clyde either, so even when this tense exchange ends, he'll still be doubting Clyde's credibility. According to teasers for other days, Johnny D. Mara will update Chanel D. Mara about his job opportunity in Los Angeles. Johnny will think that Chanel should have all the information, even if he won't want to put any pressure on her to move away with him. Johnny will tell Chanel the truth as soon as possible after Marlena Evans persuaded him to do so. He will be shocked to learn that Chanel is eager to go to Los Angeles with him and abandon her bakery. When she gets back together with Lucas Horton, she will receive some good news regarding Kate Roberts Brady. According to teasers for days, Kate will be relieved to see Lucas return home unscathed, and it appears that he will be formally free due to Harris Michaels. Roman Brady and Kate will both appear in sequences with Lucas, who should now be granted release because the Montana mission is finished. Given that Kate is expected to be celebrating Lucas's new chapter, it is possible that she will question him about his future plans now that he is out of prison. According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Lucas will need to think about what lies ahead. Week 17 of his Days of Our Lives featured Abigail's Discovery, three returning characters, Chaos on Prom Night, and Sarah's Roadblock. According to spoilers for the upcoming week of June 17th to 21st on Days of Our Lives, 
Paulina Price will want comforting from Abe Carver following her discovery that Chanel D. Mara and Johnny D. Mara are heading out of town. Since one is in fact on the way, Abe might be the one to call Eli Grant and Lonnie Price Grant for an anniversary celebration. Paulina and Abe will undoubtedly have many reasons to rejoice if they decide to repeat their vows. Of course, at the last minute, Chanel and Johnny might decide not to accept his job offer and return to Salem, especially if they receive some sobering advice from loved ones. Stefan D. Mara will next force E.J. D. Mara into a difficult situation. Day's teaser suggests that Stefan will question E.J. about his dishonesty. Might this have anything to do with Jude Brady's paternity secret? Brady Black's hookup with Teresa Donovan has caused friction, which Alex Kiriakis will attempt to resolve in a conversation with the latter. It might be easier said than done, even though Alex seems to be saying that they should all move on. Brady and Teresa chaperoning the prom together may serve as a reminder to Alex that Teresa will always be in Brady's sphere of influence because of Tate Black. In relation to prom night, Tate and Holly Jonas intend to spend some time together covertly, but Nicole Di Mera will unintentionally cause trouble. Maybe Nicole will change her mind and demand that Holly go to prom after all. If Tate was trying to sneak away and meet up with Holly somewhere else, it might be an issue. Alternatively, Holly and Tate might find themselves under the careful observation of Brady and Teresa along with every other prom attendee. In any event, that same evening, Alex will have great plans for Teresa's future. Alex will take a bold step since he won't be scared to commit fully, and that will likely result in a marriage proposal that Teresa doesn't anticipate. Maggie Kiriakis will provide her with updates on some more amazing discoveries concerning Constantine Meliunis and the dark truths he was concealing. Fans of Days of Our Lives can anticipate an obstacle for Sarah Horton in another scene as she battles inquiries regarding the mother of Xander Cook and her current location. According to teasers for other days, Eric Brady will have to deal with Marlena Evans' intense questioning concerning Nicole and his affections for her. This might make things difficult as Eric tries to negotiate the topic. Jack Devereaux's reappearance may provide a setback for Chad DeMera and Julie Williams, who are working together across town to gather information on Abigail DeMera's possible survival. Day's spoilers suggest that Jack will get interested in what Julie and Chad are up to, but for the time being, it appears they'll keep their objective a secret. After Chad and Julie are able to put Jack's questioning behind them, they will continue working as a team. That will result in an unexpected finding that will open the door to further Abigail-related information and inquiries. According to our predictions, Anna Lynn McCord will make her television debut soon, and Chad might be left wondering for a while whether or not Abigail really is that similar to her, at least to those close to her. Days of our lives don't miss what's in store. Spoilers indicate that the week of June 17th to 21st will include some twists and turns. Spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Chad DeMera reveals the shocking revelation. According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Chad DeMera is having trouble believing the shocking news about his late wife. Recently, Clyde Weston revealed that he never killed Chad's wife, Abigail Devereaux, while on a journey to Montana to find the murderer. The widower has a lot of questions for the crook, of course. But let the police commissioner question the recently apprehended felon. The single parent later gets advice from Julie Williams after telling her the news. Word spreads quickly, too. Jack Devereaux goes back to Salem to investigate the situation. Will he obstruct attempts to examine the corpses at the cemetery? What we now know about the NBC Peacock exclusive is as follows. Julie Williams receives major news from Chad DeMera. According to teasers for Days of Our Lives, Julie Williams and Chad DeMera exchange startling information. When he went to Montana to assist in finding Clyde Weston, he ended up getting more than he had anticipated. Clyde acknowledged that Abigail Devereaux was not his real victim. Chad was obviously stunned by this. 
She had been stabbed, and he discovered her in a pool of blood. On days of our lives, how was his wife still alive? Well, she might have been raised from the dead by the notorious Dr. Wilhelm Rolf. However, throughout the last few years, where has she been? Chad informs Julie on days of our lives this week about his knowledge. Is it their intention to remove Abigail's remains from the Salem Cemetery? One method to confirm whether she is the person in the opulent coffin is to do that. What will they tell the kids, though? They must wait to find out for sure before raising their hopes. When Rafe questions Clyde, will he reveal anything about Abby? Spoilers for Days of Our Lives claim that Clyde Weston gets questioned by Police Commissioner Rafe Hernandez. He is happy that the Statesville escapee was found by Detective Harris Michaels. After all, the rascal is accountable for a number of other crimes, like as the murder of Abigail Devereaux, in addition to drug trafficking in Salem. Is Clyde sharing all of his knowledge with the senior cop? He may hold on to the knowledge closely until Chad DeMera locates his spouse. However, it might give him advantage when imposing his sentence. The slick southerner shouldn't be in jail for Abby's death if he wasn't the one who killed her. So why, on Days of Our Lives, did Clyde keep it a secret for so long? Fans of Days of Our Lives are hoping that when Chad was pointing a gun at him in Montana, Clyde wasn't lying under duress. Will the prisoner provide Rafe with any useful information? This week, as he questions Clyde on the Peacock Sudzer, find out. How does the commish find out? Day's arrivals and departures, the return of Chad's FIL, Jack Devereaux. The comings and goings on Days of Our Lives reveal that Jack Devereaux is returning to Salem. Does Chad inform him about Abigail over the phone? The heartbroken guys want clarification. Does Jack, however, follow Chad and Julie's plans? Will he object to being dug up? According to spoilers, Jack pushes back. However, why? Furthermore, J.J. Devereaux may also visit his hometown, according to Day's sources. But there's no word on when he plans to return home. He will naturally be curious to find out more about his older sister's situation. The Devereaux family reunion can be quite enjoyable. Watch Chad DeMera break the devastating news to Julie Williams on Days of Our Lives this week that Abigail Devereaux might still be alive and well. Will Clyde respond to Ray Fernandez's questions? For more thrilling casting announcements and spoilers for Days of Our Lives, follow here. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Days of Our Lives, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.